Now, this illustration uh, deals with chapter 2, uh, and course chapter 2 contains articles 200 through 285. But now what we're uh, doing uh, in this illustration is calculating uh, the conductors uh, from the previous illustration. Now, if you remember, uh, I quoted to you how this would be done. Uh, 220.50 refers us out to Article 430, and in course the uh, title head here says these uh, uh, THW and copper conductors that we happen to be figuring here uh, is uh, based on 75 degrees C terminals. Now step one, we already have quoted that 220.50 referred you to Article 430. So the first stop in Article 430 is 430.6A1, which refers us to table 430.250 to pick up the uh, full load current rating of that motor based upon that table. So a 25 horsepower motor based upon the voltage that was listed in the previous illustration, we come up with 74.8 amps. And that's based upon 208 volt three phase. Now the second step, 220.250, uh, is again, it's referring us out to 430, so we have to find a section that would deal with the percentages used to size those conductors times the full load current of the motor. So 430.22 has such requirements. 125% of 74.8 we come up with a uh, total amps of 93.5. Step three now refers us to the sections that would size these conductors. Now the first section that we would uh, review is 310.10, informational note two. Now that section is in the 2017 edition. We would use in the 2020 edition 310.6 informational note two, which states the THWN conductors at 75 degree terminals could be used in a dry uh, or a damp location. So that means we could use and select now uh, from table 310.16 which is the renumbered and relocated table from the 2017 edition, which was 310.15B16. The solution would be then an answer. The size THWN copper conductors are number three AWG copper is selected in the step three.